What's up, everybody? This is Chris, a.k.a. Varnon 11970 Thank you, as always, for watching this video. All right, guys, I'm going to do a shorter version of the 49-minute video and a couple of others that I've done to kind of get people to comprehend what's really going on with governments throughout the world. Um, at the bottom of this screen, I believe it'll be on this side at the end of this video, you'll see the link to my 49-minute video, which will give a further detail and several other videos that will give more information. So this one's going to kind of be a... Uh, broken down quicker version so people can get a general idea and the reason for that is there's an expression called drowning in good intention you could think that you're doing the right thing but if you don't know what you're talking about you can actually hurt yourself or others and that's what governments throughout the world are counting on because if you don't know what's going on there's an old expression like i said be careful what you wish for you may get it so when people around the world are claiming that they have civil rights, well, you will definitely find out that they will be more than happy to give those to you because the majority of people have no clue what that means. And especially in the people in the United States, there are people that always talk about, oh, I know my constitutional rights and you're not following the Constitution and the Constitution says this, that, and the other thing. Well, if you don't know who you are as an individual and you don't know the legal definitions that entrap and enslave you, the Constitution will not apply to you. And it doesn't apply to probably over 95 to 98 percent of people that claim to be citizens in this corporation known as the United States. So when it comes to admiralty law, admiralty law is over every law of the land anywhere throughout the world. Now, it's going to vary from place to place because, for example, the United States has a constitution. Not every country has that. So I'm going to be talking about the country that I live in. But when it comes to admiralty law, it's going to supersede any law of the land. And the way you can know that is when you see your country's flag and it, all of a sudden you see one with gold trim around it, that is a symbol letting you know of military flags in other words admiralty law applies here it's a status symbol it's letting you know what is going on just for example like if all of a sudden you walk up to a gate and you see a radioactive signal a sign that says radioactivity you know that that's a symbol for letting you know that there's radioactive material in that area it's a warning sign if you don't understand it ignorance of the law is no excuse so with that being said i'm going to talk about the united states of america um, if you live in other countries, please research your specific laws because it will vary. But please study admiralty law because it will supersede any laws that your governments will put out there. And that's why they always get away with what they're doing. And they seem to never get punished, thrown in jail or anything for what they do. And it doesn't matter how much we protest, because if you don't know what you're talking about, you're not doing anything beneficial for yourself. And that's why I don't remember the person that said it, but there's an old saying that says, let them protest as long as they pay their taxes. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to talk about the United States. So many people talk about the fact that they have their constitutional rights and they know their constitution. Well, what most people don't know of is in the Act of 1871, they basically destroyed the original constitution and they rewrote it. And they tricked people into thinking that the United States of America is the same thing as the United States. That is not true. If you think of America, like North America, because America is just not the United States. Uh, the Americas is Canada, Mexico, you have South America. Those are the Americas. So we have to understand it's not just one specific area. We take that for granted. So they have a term called the United States. And it shows it right here on the Constitution. There's the Constitution of the United States. And you'll notice it's in all capital letters. Well, they've tricked people into, like I said, saying that the United States of America and the United States are two, are, are the one and the same. They are not. The United States in all capital letters is a corporation that's located in Washington, D.C. Just like, for example, the Vatican is its own country, even though it's located in Italy, it's not part of Italy. Just like London City is not part of London. It's its own country. People have to comprehend this. So the way they have tricked people into literally going from an American 
free sovereign individual who had freedoms and rights to give up their serve their their freedom to become a citizen of a corporation without even knowing it because you assume that the word united states is the same thing as you think the country is it's not and they use trickery so i suggest if you want to look up these things because these are all verifiable this is black's law dictionary i use the fourth edition you want the older versions because the newer versions they're basically onto what we're discovering and they're trying to get rid of as many of these definitions as they can and change them so you may not be able to get the information so the older they the book the better it is as far as the legal definitions now, the first thing they did in the Act of 1871, which I recommend you look into, is they went from the Constitution for the United States of America, they changed it to the Constitution of the United States. Now, again, they've tricked you into thinking that the United States of America and the United States are one and the same thing. And also, the of and to the for. Well, when the for means basically the, the Constitution was for the people. Changing the word to of means that the people are for the Constitution. One little word can change the definition of something. So what they did was they basically got rid of the original 13th Amendment and they recreated the 13th Amendment to talk about slavery. And what they did was they legally defined the word slavery. And this is how they trick people because they did this on purpose because it boils down to then what it does boil down to today. It all has to do with greedy politicians and greedy bankers who are willing to take bribes to be able to make them and their families' lives comfortable, not caring about what it does to the people and what it does to the future. So things then are the same as they are now. Greedy politicians and greedy bankers and greedy people looking to get a fast buck and not caring about the consequences of what will follow. So in the Act of 1871, they legalized this, the term of slave. Now get this. They called it legally involuntary servitude. Now what does involuntary servitude mean? That means by the definition, the legal definition of slavery, if you were to go and grab somebody and force them to, to do work, that is legal definition of slavery. In other words, you can't make force somebody to do something that they don't want to do, but they have a loophole even for that, because if you're a prisoner, then they are perfectly allowed to have you become a legal slave. That's why they get, you know, all these people to work for what, 10 cents a day doing all this work? They're legal slaves because under their loophole, they're allowed to do that to prisoners. I wonder why they make so many laws that put people in prison, free labor force. But the way they get the rest of the law-abiding citizens is the fact that they change the definition and people don't know what it means. So if you voluntarily serve, in other words, if they can trick you into serving and doing it on your own free will, well, then you are a legal slave and they cannot get themselves in trouble because they didn't force you to do it. They just tricked you to do it. That's why they say ignorance of the law is no excuse. Now, I've made a video about the whole zombie vampire thing, and there's a subliminal hidden message behind it if you understand what it means. And I'll go into the whole vampire thing. If you know the history of vampires, and this is relevant, so, you know, follow along with me. A vampire is not allowed to go into a person's home unless they are invited. That's just, I'm not saying this is real. I'm just saying the story behind it, because like I said, there's symbolism in this. So they're basically telling you that for a vampire to be able to go into your house, you have to invite them. Now, just imagine if you had a knock on the door, you open the door, and there's a guy that looks like a vampire. He's got long teeth. He's got blood. He's wearing a cape. And he says, hi, I'm a vampire. I need you to invite me into your house so I can kill you. Do you think anybody would invite him in? Of course not. What they do is, let's say, for example, that person dresses up as a plumber and says, hi, I'm here for the problem with your sink. Can I come in and fix it? Well, you not knowing that that person was actually a vampire and you think they're there to help you, you let them in. So now you have volunteered them to come in. So they tricked you, but they still got what they wanted. So this is how they do the same thing in government and in law. 
They write definitions so where you think you see a certain word that you mean it means a certain thing. There's a term called legalese, which means there are legal definitions to words that may seem the same to you, but is not. And I'll give you a prime example. The legal definition of a citizen, okay, which is what they talk about in the 14th Amendment. They talk about people becoming citizens. This is how they supposedly freed the slaves and made them into citizens. They just went from private slavery to corporate slavery. A person, okay, citizen, the definition is a person, and I'll explain what that means legally because it's not what you think it is. A person who by their birth or naturalization is a member of a political community, owning allegiance to the community, and being entitled to enjoy all of its civil rights and protections. A member of the civil state, entitled to all its privileges. In other words, they're not talking about your free sovereign rights. They're talking about privileges if you are a citizen. Now, the definition of civil. Of or relating to the state or its citizenry, civil rights. Of or relating to private rights and uh, remedies that are sought by action or suit as a district uh, distinct from criminal proceedings of or relating to any modern legal systems derived from Roman law. This goes back to the days of the Romans. Now, when you see the first part of the definition that I talk about citizen, they talk about a person. Now, if you don't look up the word person, you'll just assume that means you and I, just me, I'm a person. Well, if you go by legal definition, one of the definitions of person is uh, let's go to the right one. The living body of a human being, an entity such as a corporation that is recognized by law as having most of the rights and duties of a human being. So in other words, they're saying a person is a corporation that has some rights, but not all of them. So you don't really want to be a person. So they're talking about a corporation. So now let's go to corporation and let's see what it says for that. And again, I'm looking up in a legal dictionary. This is legal definitions. This is not definitions that you can find in any Webster dictionary. So let's go to corporation, because they've already said now that a citizen is a person. They're saying that a person is a corporation, and a corporation is an entity having authority under law to act as a single person. Goes back to the word. Distinct from the shareholders who own it and having rights to issue stock and exist uh, indefinitely. A group of, or succession of persons established in accordance with legal rules. And you could read the rest if you want to get this. So in other words, what they're telling you is, and there's so many different definitions. If you don't look them up, you're not going to know. And they do this purposely to confuse you. So they are telling you that a legal definition of citizen is a person. If you look up the legal definition of a person, it says it's a corporation. And it goes back and forth. And a, a corporation is a fictional character where people can have stockholders. That's what they do. When you have a birth certificate, when you have a driver's license, when you register to vote, what the way they trick you is you become a U.S. citizen. In other words, you become an employee of a corporation that is known as the United States. That is different from the United States of America. So when you are under the jurisdiction of the United States, you have to basically follow their rules. So if they want to charge you taxes, you have to pay for them. If you want to drive a car, you need a license. So what they do is they fool you into becoming voluntary serving of a corporation, which means the Constitution, especially the original Constitution, no longer applies to you. So you went from an American excuse me, an American that lives on the free land, you give up your rights to join a corporation unknowingly, and ignorance of the law is no excuse, whereby you are under the subject of their jurisdiction. Now, what does that mean, subject? Well, if you think of a king, a king has what? A king has his subjects. And what do the subjects do? Anything the king tells them to do. Otherwise, they'll get punished, exiled, imprisoned, even executed. You ever wonder about the National Defense Authorization Act, where they can murder American citizens at any moment or take them and put them in prison? Ever wonder why they do all these different laws where they can get you in jail just for smoking marijuana or all minor little infractions? Why? Because as I said earlier in this video, well, if you are in jail, they can actually have legal slaves because under the definition of involuntary servitude, it doesn't apply to prisoners.
So they can get free slave labor from people in prison. So the more people they throw in jail, the more free labor they get, which means they can sell products at a cheap price and profit off of it. And if they want to charge everybody to, to basically upkeep these prisons, they have the right to do it because you're part of a corporation. You're part of an employee. You're an employee of a business and you're subject to what they tell you. So basically, once people realize that we have volunteered to do this, all we have to do is waive our rights and privileges of the citizenship of the United States and we can get back our servitude. But it's not until people understand or comprehend what's really going on and how you've been tricked. So I really hope people will watch this video. There's more to this than what I'm talking about here. If you want to watch my other videos, I recommend you do it. You'll learn how it goes even deeper and why your birth certificate has been created in a way you will never imagine. I know this stuff sounds weird. I know it sounds crazy, but it's all verifiable. All you have to do is research the Constitution. All you have to do is get a legal dictionary. And they're counting on you to never do that. That's why they entertain you with all this stuff like Miley Cyrus and her twerking and what's going on with Duck Dynasty and all these things that will do nothing to improve your wisdom. They want you distracted. They want you entertained. They want you to fighting amongst each other. They want you to claim your citizenship. They want you to claim your civil rights. Well, they'll give you exactly that because you never knew what they meant. Be careful what you wish for. You may get it. So I'm hoping if you appreciate this information that you will share this video, you will like it, give it a thumbs up, you will make a video of your own. You can take this video and remix it as long as you don't change any of the information. And I would appreciate people giving me the credit for making this video. Those of you who use my videos just for the purpose of making money off them, I really am going to say I don't want people to do that. I give this information out freely and so should you. I'm not here to profit on this. I'm here to awaken the people to understand what's going on in this world. It may sound crazy. But you know what they say, the truth is stranger than fiction. So I'm going to keep this video relatively short. Give it a thumbs up. Spread this information out. Research it. Don't just believe what I say just because I say it and I seem trustworthy or it seems to make sense. They are counting on you to not do your own due diligence. And I'm telling you, that's exactly what you got to do. So get this information out. Otherwise, what are we complaining about? Because we've technically volunteered our servitude. So... Why are you complaining about the very thing that you volunteered to do? It's just now you know that they did it very sneakily and they did it underhandingly and they basically lied to you because they're counting on you to not know the law. And that's how they get away with it. And that's why no people in the government or in the corporations like the banks and all these financial industries, they can get away with problem after problem and never be thrown in jail because they waive their rights and privileges of the uh, jurisdiction of the Constitution. They're not subject to it. Now you know. And knowing is three quarters of the battle. Thanks for watching. Peace.